Bronny actually spoke at the draft combine yesterday and Kristen Peake wrote something on it. And you got to see a lot of the footage. And basically, Bronny was basically letting everybody know, I want to make it to the NBA. Like the whole playing with my dad stuff, like that's his that's his thing. He's not saying he doesn't want to do it, but he's not fully jumping into it saying, you know, I want all those tweets about me and Instagram posts about me when, you know, we act up. I ain't trying to hear all that and go home for Sunday dinner. That man will never know peace. And he 18 years old or however old he is. Can I add something to this? Sure. I think it was uh, one of the first episodes of the Mind the Game podcast that LeBron did with JJ. Okay. Or does with JJ. uh, Where he was talking about the sacrifices he's had to make in his life Mm -hmm. to be the type of player that he is. And he talks about his schedule. And he was like, you wake up, you go to the gym. You come home, you eat, you nap, you go back to the gym. And he basically said, I don't spend a lot of time with my family. I don't have time for recreational activities. I'm so focused on my whole life is built around trying to be the best basketball player in the world. And I've had to sacrifice parts of my life to get there. When I heard the way Bronny was like, yeah, I'll play with my dad. That's cool. But like. That's I like I haven't grown up going like, man, I really want to play with my dad. I It all kind of clicked to me. Not that they have like a strained relationship. I'm not tr- trying to put anything right. like that on them. I'm just like, you could see how he didn't grow up with his dad being his whole world. And they spent every day together and he learned everything from him. He's probably closer to his mom than he is his dad. But playing in the NBA and doing it with his dad is probably a cool thing to potentially do. But it's not the end goal for him, and it never has been. And and when you realize that like LeBron was so focused on being a player and and family maybe had to come second sometimes, it makes even more sense to me. Well, here's the other part of it. A, Bronny wants to come to the NBA and be an NBA player. That's why he he named, you know, when people ask him his player comps, he named like a guy like Drew Holiday. You know what I mean? Like that, like there's a sense of groundedness that I think popped up in that moment. But when you want to come in and be an NBA player, you want to be an NBA player as in, man, this is this is the life. This is the lifestyle. I'm not trying to have my daddy hovering over me because to y'all, he's LeBron James. All these things. To me, he's my daddy and I share his name. And let me tell you, as somebody who shares the name as his daddy, you don't get your name. Your name is not yours. He has to be Bronny because his dad is LeBron James, right? I'm Vinny because my daddy is Vincent, okay? Nothing wrong with it, but you want your own identity. Also, you want to be your own man, right? Yeah, John, you want to be your own man. You want to carve out your own place in the world. The person who's really got to be feeling like, you know, like something is the middle child. Like, you know, the baby, she's the star of the family. If you've seen them, them TikTok videos and all that stuff, Zuri is the star. Right, Bronny is the namesake. If I'm Bryce, I'm like, hey, yo, pops, you don't think I'm good enough to want to play with? You don't mention wanting to play with me. I know it's I'm a couple years behind and all that, but like, like, am I not important to you? Now, John, maybe that's the middle child and me coming out, but you know, so be it, right? Cool. All 